Hello, welcome to lesson 22, exercise one. Here's our uh, program that we'd like to write. We're going to declare an integer named length, initialize it to 10. We'll do that on the same line. Uh, then we will uh, declare and initialize two more integers named width and height, and we'll initialize these to 12 and 15 respectively. Then we'll declare a, a final integer. We'll name it volume, and we'll initialize it to be equal to the product of length times width times height, because that's the volume of a cube. Um, and note that when we do this, the volume variable will be dynamically initialized to a value that's calculated when the program runs. This is kind of, um, you know, sounds complicated, but it's really easy to understand. Basically, it's a very simple little program. What the point of it is, is trying to show you a couple things. First thing is, when you declare variables, you can declare the variable and initialize it to a value on the same line. We've done that in several programs before. Um, the alternative would be to declare it and then on another line set length equal to 10, but you can do it all at once. Uh, you can also declare uh, integer, two different integer variables or three or four different integer variables all on the same line and you can initialize them on the same line if you'd like. So it just saves space rather than declaring them all on separate lines and then initializing them. Finally, we've declared a, another variable called volume and we have not set it equal to a number. We've set it equal to the product of these three numbers which we've already defined up here. So what's going on is when the program runs, this volume variable the value that it's initially set at is not something that I've really told it explicitly. It's something that it calculates. And this is what you call dynamically initialized. It's a crazy sounding phrase, but what it means is that when the program runs, it figures out the value and then it initializes the variable when the program's running. And then we print out the value. The volume is initialized to a value of whatever it is. So let's go ahead and hit run. It's just one output line. The volume is initialized to a value of 1800. So this uh, exercise is really just getting you the uh, thought across that you can declare and initialize variables on the same line, you can declare and initialize more than one variable on the same line, and you can dynamically initialize uh, variables to values that are calculated based on other variables at runtime. And that's what the point of exercise one of lesson 22 really is.